Hey there guys, here with another random video. Um, I guess this would make more sense for you gamers out there. And uh, honestly I did this to uh, go ahead and separate my uh, very unfrequent gaming from my recordings that I either do from, you know, a live feed like a camera or something that I do while running the PC as in uh, a capture, rather, a screen cap. But uh, I went ahead and had a, ordered a, uh, an external hard drive. This one, this happens to be a Toshiba Canvio Basics, or Basic. I'm a little buzzed right now, so just deal with it. This is a 320 gigabyte uh, drive. I was hoping more for a terabyte, but I had a gift card come in for one of my, you know, Christmas gifts by somebody, a relative. So I said, you know what, fine, you know, why not? Let me go ahead and use that for an external drive. Look at that, Toshiba's just like glaring its name at us. It's like, buy me, buy me. But yeah, so this is the 320 gigabyte version. They have 500, I believe a 750 as well, and a terabyte. Uh, do it, does it go faster? I'm faster, higher than a terabyte? I don't know off the top of my head, but maybe. Just go online and check it out. Canvio, that is C-A-N-V-I-O. And the point of this video is putting Steam on an external hard drive. And you'll see how easy it is. I already got my browser open here. I already searched for Steam and Google. Boom, first hit. Wouldn't you know? It is Steam. So, go ahead and, you know, let me get to the Steam homepage. See, install Steam up here at the top right. Go ahead and grab that. It'll download your Steam. And I'm not going to go ahead and do that, but I'm going to walk you through it just, you know, I mean, it's pretty simple. This will install it. I mean, obviously, you only download it first. Go to your downloads folder, wherever it saves it to. Uh, open it up, and as soon as you do, it's going to open up uh, the... Eventually, you'll see part of the screen where it asks where you want it to be installed to. It's By default, it's going to show your C drive, which is going to be your main boot drive, which would be this, that you have Windows on, or if you know I mean, this is a mechanical hard drive. If I have it on an SSD, solid state drive, it's going to be your C drive. It's normally always a C. All you want to do is switch it to whatever your external hard drive is labeled as. For example, this one is D, could even be E, it could be F, could be I, depending how many um, drives you have, or devices rather, that you have connected to your C, uh, PC, which have already been uh, designated their own drive letter. So let's say you have, you know, four or five drives on your thing. You might get like a G, like drive G, H, I, God knows. That's going to be your external. Uh, you know, this is a Toshiba. So luckily for me, I mean, and for the most of you, for most of you as well, if you get a Toshiba, it's going to say Toshiba in the drive name as well on top of the letter that's been designated for it. So that should be pretty obvious. You tell Steam to install it to that drive, and boom, you have Steam on your external drive, and you take this wherever the hell you want. I've already tested this on a USB 2.0 platform, which this system is still USB 2.0 based. This is not an, you know, an incredible system, this is not an, you know, uh, an insane motherboard, an insane CPU, nothing of that sort, but I've already played games over this on a you know USB 2.0 port and it runs fine. I mean granted that your network, your, your net is fast enough, you should be fine. Uh, this drive is USB 3.0 optimized, as you can tell. Check this out. Just to be just to clarify, just to be sure here. Oh. I just, actually this is a really tight fit on this port, if I could just get it out. Wow, I can't get it out. Well, you know what? I'm just not going to do that. But, as you can tell, see that? It's nice and blue in there. So, that's USB 3.0. If it was USB 2.0, it would be white or black. And if it's black and it's USB 3.0, it may really fucked it up. But, point is, USB 3.0, you're going to get a whole lot uh, better transfer speeds with this kind of drive or a, a Western Digital My Passport which is what I was originally, originally looking at. But I went ahead with this because I had the gift card and it was only $49.99 on Amazon. Totally plugging Amazon. Amazon, you can thank me later. So, yeah, I mean, I didn't show you firsthand 
live, you know, how to install Steam, but everything I just said is exactly what you're going to see when you download Steam and then try installing it. It's going to ask you where you want to put it. Put it on your drive. Whatever letter is designated for your external drive. And you can take this wherever the hell you want. Put it here. Put it in your HTPC in your living room. Put it in your laptop. Granted that your laptop is fast enough to run the games. And for whatever system that you do plug this into, you know, you know, configure your video settings, you know, that coincides with your system specs. For example, this system, I've had to run things mostly on medium, whereas my main system, I mean, or not really my main system, but my more up-to-date system, I can run things on high, medium high, you know, whatever the case may be. So, and oh yeah. 75% off for Midweek Madness for those that are interested in Street Fighter and Tekken. Keep that in mind. <laughs> and so, yeah. Totally plug this wherever the hell you want. When you actually run this, you may run into the situation on Windows where it tells you that you need to install the Steam Service Engine, I believe is what it said, the Service Engine on your PC. You don't really need to do that. What it's asking you to do is install the service on your main hard drive so that it essentially runs this faster. You don't really need to do that. If it, may, if it asks you to do that, skip it. You don't need to. It already asked me to do that and I skipped it. And all I did was, as soon as I plug this in, you know, you get the little window that says open files or view files, whatever the case may be. As soon as you plug in an external drive or even a USB thumb drive, you get that same window that says open up to view files go in there, start your Steam from the Steam.exe, the executable file, and you'll be fine. It'll open it up. You don't need to have anything Steam-wise on your main PC. You can all run off of here, and you'll be just fine. And the, the, actually, one of the main reasons that I got this was, well, extra storage, portable storage, and because I, not this PC, but the one in my living room, which is my HD PC, I have a secondary hard drive in the system uh, alongside my OS and boot, you know, drive and with all my other programs that is partially blank for the most part, but I use that to record all my gameplay footage, um, you know, screen caps, uh, you know, my Let's Plays and whatever other bullshit that I come up with. So that way, if I am playing any games, they are all running off of this and not slowing down the hard drive that I'm actually recording to. Wow, this video sucks. Hopefully some of what I said made sense. If it did, great. If it didn't, just let me know. I'll totally take this video off my page. <laughs> but yeah, so it's taking the lag off of this drive and putting onto my secondary, which is grabbing the screen caps. So therefore, the drive that's also playing the games isn't also recording, which would totally bring down your frame rates for your screen captures and ruin your quality. So look at all these deals. Look at all that. <laughs> oh, and actually, guys, by the way, I forgot to completely mention an important point. You can go to your C drive, you know, go to your program files, x86, you know, whatever it says, and you go to your Steam folder, and then your common files, that's normally where you're going to find your games. So if you want to install Steam on an external hard drive, and you already have all your games installed here, and you don't want to go through the business of re-downloading all your games onto your external drive, you can drag the folders of each game in your common files folder in your Steam folder, under your C drive in program files x86 to your external drive to the common files directory and you'll be fine. Now if you have any trouble with that you know then you know, worst case scenario if you have any issues with that just go ahead and install Steam on your external drive and being that you already have all the licenses you know the key codes you already have all those games attributed to your Steam account then you can just download them all over again. You know, it's up to you if you want to wait, you know, if you don't care waiting to just install them onto your external drive all over again, or just grab the game files from your originating Steam directory to your external drive, 
And then once you've done all that, you can totally delete everything here and just have it on your external drive with whatever else you want to put in here, like porn and movies about uh, chickens and uh, watermelons and Kentucky Fried Movie. Yeah, I totally thought of Kentucky Fried Movie with Arsenio Hall. Go look up Kentucky Fried Movie. Just do it. YouTube it. You're on YouTube right now. Kentucky Fried Movie. You'll thank me later. Good night.